hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new story in classic who i hope you are doing well i hope you are doing well that even that didn't come out properly if you are new here hello my name is mary claire thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining feel free to subscribe if you'd like okay so we all know what happened in the last story I don't need to keep mentioning that the Brigadier was back. Also, you guys, um, because I've just read some comments on Patreon, because Mordred and Undead Part 1's just gone out, and you guys were saying that it was meant to be Ian Chesterton. Now, I'm glad it was the Brigadier. I would have loved Ian Chesterton, but Ian and Barbara to come as a pair for me, and... The third Doctor era was so special to me that having the Brigadier back meant more, if that makes sense. But I, you guys know how I feel about nostalgia. Like, I love callbacks. I love throwbacks. I love having companions come back. Like, it's my favourite thing. Um, so I would have been grateful for anyone. But I was, I was really happy to see the Brigadier because it just hadn't even crossed my mind like if someone said to me oh which companion would you suspect would maybe make a reappearance i would probably say someone like sarah jane because that just seems the most realistic she's not that long ago so to have gone back you know further than that and brought the brigadier back was amazing i'm actually rambling i said i wasn't going to mention it anyway brand new story i'm really apprehensive because i want it to be good because the last three stories of this series series have been so phenomenal um i don't know it's not gonna be an earth story is it but then we've kind of had like half and halves we had half and half with arc of infinity as well i don't know let's um let's crack on because i am actually getting a little bit space-time element from beneath the console. Which switches will release the TARDIS to my control for singing? Not very well, I'm afraid. Why didn't you answer when I called? I'm very sorry, I didn't hear you. You're up to something, I can feel it. I'm simply looking around. TARDIS is so very loud. What have you been doing? Have you touched anything? No. You seem unable to grasp that there are other approaches. You smiled before asking. Don't patronise me, Turlo. I'm simply relating what I think. Turning an argument around is something you're very good at. Listen to yourself. You're so concrete in the way you think. Why can't you just agree to differ? I think you're dangerous. I think we should try and be friends. I'm going to tell the doctor about the round box. We're friends? Not yet. <laughs> and a girl, Tiga. Ooh. Looks like a kid's room. Is that Rex? Who? Doesn't matter. I've had enough of children. What with that awful school on earth. It's repaired itself. Concentrate. You have work. What happens to me? You will be safe. I am ready to give you away. No, Tegan's going to find him. Doctor! 
What, so it's like the... It's like... TARDIS is disappearing? What is it? Quickly! What a knob! What an absolute knobby noo noo! Can't they go to the room and then go through the door? What's that? I don't know. Is that door to another spacecraft? Where did the other spacecraft come from? TARDIS found it. There's a failsafe. An impending breakup it seeks out and locks onto the nearest spacecraft. You never mentioned it before? Gone. What is that? The doctor. Yeah, I'd be I'd be very much like Tegan. I don't think I'd be able to just sit back and and, and watch. I'd have to go. So my gut would have been like Daleks maybe because of how smooth the floor is, but I don't get the skull. So there's cargo on board, what's the cargo? And where have those two come from? Not those two, the other two. Cybermen. Help me! 
by the charts. Listen to the engines. Align your maneuvers. We're docking with another ship. Great. Then I'm asking you, will you take us off this ship? Keep my guns away. Please. alignment procedures are now complete. Passengers with mobility should prepare to disembark. Anyone failing to disembark will be removed. Passengers with mobility. Sterilization procedures will then follow. There is no return. This is terminus. Wait a minute. Oh dear. I know where we are. Where? Now we know what it's all about. This is terminus. For all the masses come to die. For all the leper shit. So I don't think I really spoke a lot during that episode because I was just like, there was just like, I was so enticed. That episode flew by, which which is always such an amazing sign. We're in Terminus, which is where people go to die, like the end of their life. The whole thing with Turlo is frustrating because he's up to no good and the doctor doesn't know, or I don't think the doctor knows. Um, the setting of this ship is wonderful again the TARDIS attaching to the ship that whole thing with Nyssa was wonderful um, I guess the Turlo situation adds another element right but I just don't like I don't like the Doctor having companions that aren't good people because I just feel very protective over him but it definitely adds a layer there's probably going to be a big kaboom with the black guardian maybe at the end of this season but how bloody good is this season so far again i don't know how this story will go i'm very intrigued though like it it definitely pulled me in straight away and that's what i like i love tegan suspecting him i kind of suspect that during this story she will grow to like him which will then help him on his journey to try and kill the doctor very good though really 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 impressed so far so let's leave it there thank you for joining me and i will see you very very soon bye